720 WGN. Mitch, you're on WGN. Good morning. Good morning, Lou. How are you today? Mitch loves Lou. Jan, you're on WGN. Hello, Mr. Fixit. How are you? Jan loves Lou. Good morning, Uncle Lou. Uncle Steve, I like to say. Good morning. You guys are like family. Sounds like this guy loves Lou. Hang on by yourself. Keep listening to the Mr. Fixit Show on the Voice of Chicago 720 WGN. Live at the Villa Park Ace in Villa Park in a grand opening. 46 South Villa Road. This is the Mr. Fixit Show on 720 WGN. I need to sit over here, sir, where there's a microphone. Uh, joining me uh, up on the stage, if you're looking at your radio, it would be two people to my right, uh, is uh, Villa Park President Deborah Bullwinkle and Villa Park Manager Hi. Richard <laughs> Keener. Hi, guys. We're right up there in that uh, So we've had a lot of debate here this morning. Steve wanted to know, was it ever pronounced Via? No. Not basically in our lifetime, no. Yeah. It's always been Villa Park. So one thing I want to tell you guys, you know, you hear you have a picture of people on the radio and what they look like and whatnot. Now I know a lot of people get to see me because I'm on TV. You don't get to see Steve as much, the handsome fellow that he is. He likes to drink. And so that's where it comes the whole via thing. So I want to apologize for him now. He likes to hit the sauce in the morning. We're working on it, but He's just, you know, he's fun, more fun on the radio. Though. <laughs> thanks so much for joining us well, today. Well, thanks for having us. Um, uh, tell me, so... Great crowd. Thank, very nice crowd. We should give nice them a round of applause. Yeah, right? very nice. Great. Now, I'm not saying that this because we're uh, just new business uh, owners here in Villa Park, but I have to tell you people, how many of you here are actually from Villa Park? All right. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, those are your constituents. Be nice. They're already talking about something about the water bill, but I won't want to go there. Um, um, really nice people in this community. Describe to people, I know we're almost doing like a hometown voices here, but for people that have never been to Villa Park, uh, what this community is about. Oh. Loyal and um, committed. They, you know, you, you saw it even before you opened your doors to the public, to the community. People were looking through the windows, really eager to support you. And that's what our community, I think, is really all about. You know, we come together and we support each other. And, and look, by the looks of it today, there's, the, the place is packed. Yeah, with, it's great. With, you know, residents and friends. And it, it's just, I would say loyalty is the for me. How about you, Manager Keener? It is loyalty, and <clears throat> this is one of the few communities that I've seen so many volunteer uh, organizations that help each other and uh, I think that says a lot for our community also. Well and it seems too that there's a lot of crossover um, between, I mean obviously Villa Park kind of nestled in you know other communities here, um, you know Elmhurst and Lombard and uh, what Oak Brook to the, to the south. I mean there's a lot of crossover, uh, just a, a, a really nice group of people in this area. You know, what are we, half an hour from downtown? Yes. Right? Yes. The most. On a good day, yeah. Well, on a good day, you know. <laughs> Without six, traffic. At six in the morning, you can get downtown in a half an hour. <laughs> yes, I mean, you that's can. something, boy. <laughs> you know? um, but um, one thing that struck me and, and my wife as well as we were driving around and we were, you know, kind of looking at this whole thing um, is the amount of small businesses yes. that exist in this town and the surrounding towns, too. Yes. There's a lot of opportunity here for people to bring businesses here. You know, I'm just throwing this out there. You know, everybody knows about this Bedford Park. They got a lot of water. We got to come out with Villa Park like what you got a lot of. Evidently, they got lots of water in Bedford Park. Maybe Villa Park has a lot of mos trees. mosquitoes. No. Uh, a lot of no. trees. A lot of trees. We have some water, too, here. So. Okay. Well, trees, I'm trying to think. That's not a good selling point. Lots of trees. Well, what, location? Yeah. Come to Villa location. Park. There's lots of trees. No, Our location. I'm thinking that. Location, all right. We have great location. Yes. Location, Villa Park. Location, location, location. How about that? It really is. Um, give me a sense of the types of, of uh, businesses that people will find when they come to Villa Park. We have a, a nice mixture. We have uh, the smaller mom and pa shops. We also have uh, the larger uh, businesses, corporations, we have an industrial district, we have construction companies, uh, you name it, we have pretty much a little bit of everything mm -hmm. here in Villa Park. And I think part of that is because we have such a great uh, location. You know, right. we you probably have noticed pretty much every single uh, expressway and arterial road comes right through Villa Park. Right. And, and, you know, that's a pretty special component to our location here. It helps people get in and out. Very, it's very diversified, and if you look at the Villa Park, really it's four square miles, and the businesses, some of them are tucked inside the residential neighborhoods, but some are on the outside, 
and it's a very unique community and a very lovely community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was really impressed as I drove around, and obviously when you're opening up a hardware store, you, you want to see the housing stock that's around here. There are just beautiful streets lined with all different types of houses, uh, you know, of, of various ages and just very well maintained. It's just a, a nice, solid uh, community as far as the housing stock goes. And then the, the education system, the schools that you have here, I mean, it's some really wonderful schools. Yes, yes. Our housing stock, you know, I'm glad you mentioned that. We have a mixture of Craftsman homes, Sears homes. Probably many of you who live in Villa Park live in, a, in an older home. Um, and that's really kind of one of the... Uh, things that I really enjoy about our community. In addition to the school system, we are second to none. I mean, we have one of the best, if not the best, school system in our area. So, really. Yeah, very nice. We really do. That's great. <laughs> tell, me, uh, tell me some of the things that you guys in, in the Villa Park government are kind of working on uh, right now for <laughs> residents and, and things that are some of your initiatives that are going on right now. Well, some of our initiatives are a lot of uh, road work, uh, water and sewer uh, replacement. Uh, just recently we did a number of um, uh, changes at our metro station. We've painted it. We're planting uh, some flowers, adding uh, internet, adding um, cable TV to the metro station so when our folks travel uh, they can relax and uh, come inside the building. Probably not a lot of people know this, or maybe you do, but we get over 200 trains a day. Wow. And uh, some of that's freight, some of that's passenger, so our metro station is really used. but. Uh, we're doing a lot of neat things, a lot of construction in Villa Park right now. Tell me about this beautiful little path that runs. Are those old train tracks that, that I see people yes. biking and yes. running and yes. walking? And yes. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. We have three paths that come through Villa Park. The Great Western Trail, the Illinois Prairie Path, and the Salt Creek Greenway. And that's also something that makes Villa Park very, very unique. You know, We have these three paths that converge right through Villa Park. You can walk, you can bike, you can jog. We do a number of uh, community events that are kind of centered around our, our path. So that's just yet another thing that we're very proud of here in Villa Park. All right, I have some trivia for you people uh -oh. for more giveaways uh, about Villa Park. I have some Villa okay. Park trivia that we uncovered. Uh, <laughs> tell me if you know these things. Don't look. Okay. Okay. They're looking. We won't look. In um, what year <laughs> did, uh, let's see. Okay, so, oh no, Villa Park in prior to 1917 was called what? Oh wow, you all know this. Mm -hmm. It's like all you people with the birthstones. <laughs> just, we know hand hand some fresh wave to somebody. Um, all right, next year is the 100 year centennial. Yes. You know what, that's like the Wrigley Field. You got that whole little thing going. We do. All right. We have a birthday coming It was coming founded up. in August 8th, 1914. Okay, that's not trivia. All right, let's see. Um, oh, this is good. You guys were, um, what is the, what are you, what's your nickname? What are your, what's your slogan? The Garden Dog. Just hand people fresh waves. They're like, all right. Marco. Okay. Uh, you've got a, you got a budget award, the GFOA budget award. Excellent in financing report for 26 consecutive years. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yes, we have. I think that's due to all the money we've spent on building permits. So congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, uh, and you were designated the tree city in the USA for 28 consecutive years. This year will be number 29. So that's very nice. I like that. Very nice. Well, Thank you for welcoming us. The, the village has been great to us, uh, my wife and I, the entire staff. We really enjoy it. We're looking forward to being uh, long-time uh, business owners here, and the community is fantastic. And I, and I really, they really are just the nicest group of people that we've met since we've been here. So thank you, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Deborah Bullwinkle, who is the president of Villa Park, and our uh, village manager, Richard Keener. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.